got to tell you, I'm feeling my muscles from yesterday. How about you? That little standing workout that we did, I'm feeling those hip stabilizers. Um, hopefully you feel really good and, and woke up some muscles as well in your own body. Um, we're going to continue with balance. This is the last, um, the last workout of this balance chapter. So grab your band and let's get started. <sighs> I tell you what I did mess, miss yesterday was going down on the mat and just allowing <laughs> my body to give to the mat. I'm t telling you, I'm starting to really crave that these, these last two weeks. Um, hopefully you're feeling really good too. And enjoying that sensation of finding your alignment each day on the mat. <sighs> so let's start with your breath, really inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. We did a big breath, breath workout the other day. So hopefully it gave you some ahas about your breathing and how important it is. And I love how the exhale can really help you find your abdominals a little bit more. And with each breath, just finding your pelvic alignment, the ribs, the shoulders, the back of your head so you can keep that neck long. I do want to just do some marching to make sure we have our abdominals. So really placing your upper arms and palms into the mat as much as you can without popping the ribs. And we're just going to hover one foot, bring it back down and hover the other. And as you go into these marches, you're breathing. And you're really anchoring that pelvis into the earth without arching your back at all, keeping the longest spine you can. And we can start to make the marches just a little bit bigger towards tabletop so we can involve the opposite leg. Push that into the earth to feel the stabilization of your hips. So hello, pelvis. Power to the pelvis. And then I'm going to lift the arms up and take away that stabilization so I can really feel my belly a little bit more. And then what you can do is keep one leg up at tabletop. Maintain that nice alignment as you draw the other leg up. How did you do? Are you there? Do you find your alignment or did you arch your back? All right, if you found your alignment and you feel really strong, stay there. If you want to go back and really make sure you didn't arch your back, find that alignment, anchor the pelvis nice and wide and anchored, chest is wide and anchored, your heart is heavy. Bring one leg up. Try it again. I like to really inhale here and use the exhale. And notice as soon as that, that leg lifts, you're not arching into that. Keep that alignment. Good. And then we're just going to tap here. And if you want to bring those arms back down onto the mat, you can. If you want to really kind of just feel that alignment, that's really good. If you're working that upper mid back this week, last week, and it feels good, maybe you do that and, it, and you keep strengthening that upper mid back in that posture. One more each side. And then go ahead, squeeze your thighs together. We're going to reach those arms back behind us, maintaining that engagement in the ribs. Circle the arms around and just anchor them to your sides. And you're just going to go down. You're going to try to tap the toes towards the floor. They do not need to touch. As soon as you feel your low back wanting to arch, you've gone too far, pull it back in. And we go again. And deepen your scoop as you bring it back in. We're going to do that one more time. We draw it down, no popping abs, bring it back in. And then with control, those legs are gonna go down. Good, let's get those legs ready for some hip rolls, just rolling the hips towards you, lifting up, pushing that pelvis beyond the knees, stretch that pelvis, anchor the upper back. And then as those arms anchor, we draw it down through the spine. And we're gonna do three of these, so just give me two more. Using this as your warm up, you know it now. Push the feet into the earth, feel the feet to the seat, the seat to the feet. And then really anchoring the arms, keeping the chest wide as you roll it down. One more time. 
That's a real mid back strengthener when you anchor the arms because you can tell how the shoulders want to roll forward, right? It's a little weakness in the back going on, maybe a little tightness. So really trying to keep it nice and wide and anchored. Beautiful. All right, shake that out. Let's go ahead and take the band into your left foot first. And make sure it really kind of hugs the whole ball of your foot as well as your toes. We want it nice and wide. All right, and then you're gonna pull your elbows and upper arms down so you can find that upper back posture. So we're talking balance today. So I want you to really focus on keeping the pelvis nice and anchored and balanced, all right, and the shoulder blades. We wanna work every part of your body equally. So we also have this bottom foot anchored as well as your elbows and upper arms. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this leg up. And I want you to really focus on pushing through the heel and the arch as you bring your toes towards your ankle. And just hold here as you lengthen. And you're gonna keep that lengthened as you lower the leg down, really press it through the arch and the heel. And then as it goes down on the ground, anchor the heel and find the back of the thigh and the seat. And really reach through the heel with, and notice if you reach the, through the heel too much, and draw your toes towards you too much, your heel will lift, right? We want to keep that heel anchored. Feel the difference in that? And then keep reaching through the arch. Find your seat. Find your hamstring as you come up. As your leg is up here, you're also reaching it upward. Anchor the pelvis. Keep it wide as you bring that leg back down. As it goes down again, reaching through the arch, finding your seat and hamstring. Keep the seat and hamstring. Push through the opposite leg as well as you bring that leg back up. And reach it upward. One more time, find your seat and hamstring as it goes down. Reach, reach, reach. And then pull it back up. Good. Now, as it goes down, I want you to just feel if that feels different from your other leg at all. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. All right, bend the leg you just worked, which is your left one, anchor it into the earth, balance your pelvis as we lift this leg up. Now anchor the upper arms, the pelvis, the back of the pelvis is wide and anchored. And then we're stretching through our arch and our heel as we pull our toes towards our ankle. All right, now feel that reach as we start to lower the leg down. Allow the seat to help initiate that press down until the heel reaches the floor. Look up, make sure that heel's lined up with your spine. And as we push that heel downward, feel your seat and hamstring activate, and you're still pressing through the arch of your foot. We lift it back up. Support it with your seat and hamstring as well. As this leg is here, you're again reaching up to the ceiling with the arch of your foot as you anchor the back of your pelvis and stretch it even longer away from you. And as it goes away from you, do you feel your abs more? Hopefully. Tap and find the heel, find your seat. Keep that attachment as you come up. Upper back is wide, belly is in. We do that again. Stretch it even longer. Try to touch the opposite wall. Use your seat and the hamstring and try to touch the opposite wall as it comes up. And then it tries to touch the ceiling as it comes up. Good. And then release and bend both in. Okay. So now your heels are together. Your elbows are down. Back of your pelvis is anchored. All right, I want you to really push those legs away from you at a high diagonal. See if you can really stay balanced on your pelvis evenly. All right, is one side wanting to tilt the other? Are you working one leg more than the other? Really balance, balance both arms. Keep your ribs in. Good, and then we bend it in. And again, push it out. Find your balance. Everything works the same. Both sides work the same, right and left, but also you wanna feel your pelvis 
and your upper arms and ribs anchored the same as well. And bend it back in and reach it out. And in, now find a rhythm with it and see if you really can keep those different sides of your body working together. Two more. There isn't an area working harder than the other. And one more. Good, bring it down, stretch your legs long. And now your heels are down and hopefully your legs feel like, oh, they feel really good to reach. Pelvis might be anchored, I hope. And then heels are down and you're reaching through your arches. Try to pull your ankles towards one another and really activate your outer hips. We're gonna lift the head, neck and shoulders and you're gonna look at your toes and we're gonna continue up. So let those arms straighten and you're gonna dive your body over your heels. So try not to let your heels and pelvis move forward. Keep them there. So you gotta lift your body, you gotta pull your hips towards one another as you dive your body over your thighs. Now you roll back, you're pulling away from those legs and those legs are reaching away from you evenly. Everything's working. Once you find that pelvis, anchor it, pull your hips towards one another and lower it down. From here, push your feet into that band, the crown of your head in opposition, your pelvis is anchored. And lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Find that flow of everything working together up and over those thighs and back. One more time. And release. Go ahead, release the band. Let's take it and bring the band into our hands. All right, and we're gonna hold the band a little bit wider than your shoulders. All right, and I want you to get your thumbs and fingers on the same side, or you can take thumb and index finger. Either way, you want your wrist wrong and you want your arms connected to your back. And we reach those arms back behind you and see if you can get your upper body and lower body both working the same. Your pelvis is anchored, your belly's in. So as you pull that band slightly apart to feel your back muscles, keep that sensation as you curl yourself up, let both arms work equally as you reach through your knuckles and dive over your legs and we roll it back, pull that band apart and bring it down. So I want you to really find the equalness of your arms because sometimes I see funny things. I know my body does the same thing. And roll it back, anchor those heels, anchor your body. One more time. Up and over. And roll it back. Good job. Okay, so now we've done all that work with the band and our legs. So let's see our single leg circles. And we want to really try to make both legs work equally. So anchoring your bottom heel and your arms, stretch your leg up to where you can. You're going to give me three circles each way. And I want you to really find equalness in that circle and make your whole body work equally. And then we circle the other way, three each way. And then lower that leg down, anchor it from heel to hip, and then bring the other leg up. Let's see if we can feel the same on this side as we did on the other side. And if it's different, that's just information for you to help you with the more advanced exercises. Three the other way as we move forward in this challenge. Good, and go ahead, hug. Hug the other leg in and roll it up. All right, so now we're gonna roll like a ball. So I want you to really try to get the whole body to work evenly in this rolling like a ball, which is really hard to do, um, but we can do it. So heels together. I want you to just kind of take your elbows in between your knees and push inward. Do you feel your inner thighs working? I want you to keep that sensation as you keep your elbows wide. So get those inner thighs and outer hips working, so then place your hands right on the outer side, side of your thighs and press out. In, out. Get those hips working equally, okay? And then push your shins into your hands, your hands into your shins. So does that activate a lot of legs? 
lot of leg power, power to the pelvis, right? Elbows wide, find your back. And then that little flexion over. Okay, so really getting your whole body to stay like this. Inhale it back. Exhale it up. Inhale. This is an exercise that I see a lot of overpowering with the legs or momentum. But if you really can get the whole body working together, it's pretty cool. Two more. And then we'll go back for our single leg stretch. So pulling back, keeping that chest up right where it is and really stay equal with the upper body. And then the lower body anchored as one leg comes in, one leg comes out. Pull, pull, switch with the center. Yes, you feel the center, but everything is working equally. One more each side. Good. Bend it in. Both. Reach on an inhale. Exhale, wrap it in. Keep your chest where it is. Don't let those legs pull your chest from where it is. One more time. Inhale. Exhale right into your crisscross. Head in the hand, hand in the head. All right? So we get the back working just as much as the belly. One more each side. Come in. And up. Awesome job. Okay, so... Getting your legs ready for some spine stretch forward. So we want to try to get the outer hips and the inner hips working the same as well as the bottom of the, the hip, okay? So as you get your heels down, get your hips down, and then take your outer hips and pull them inward so it gives you that little lift. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lift your body up and over and feel that whole body working together simultaneously, nice and even. And then roll it back up. Two more times. You dive it. And up. Really lifting up and over the thighs. Good. Take your legs a little bit wider. Bring your arms out wide. Now we rotate and dive it over again. Everything's working. Hips are anchored. Knees and toes are straight up to the sky. Upper body and lower body are working the same. Grab your breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more each side. Make sure your feet aren't working more than others. So you want to, I do that tendency. My feet want to overwork. But we don't want to use too much energy on our feet. We want the rest of our body to get it. And release. Good. And just shake it out. Wonderful job. All right. Your band is going to be close at hand. <clears throat> We're going to lie down on our stomach. Okay. So inner thighs turned up. Pelvis anchored. Tailbone long. Belly in. On your inhale, start to reach it up. And the chest forward. And lower down. Again, upper and lower body working the same. Right and left side of the body working the same. So notice, do you take your body from one side or the other? Is that pelvis nice and even on either side? Are your feet even? One more. Good. Let's come up onto our elbows. And push your elbows into the earth. Make sure you don't shrug the shoulders to your ears. Keep those ears, shoulders out of your ears. Draw your belly in. Keep your tailbone nice and long. So that upper body should work as much as the lower body. So spin those inner thighs up, right? Just hold it here. Hold this position. We're not going to move at all today. We're just lengthening the legs and we're trying to get everything to be balanced and equal on the mat. If I were to kick my leg, so like you're bending. The left thigh bone, you're kicking. One, two. The rest of your body is working as well. It's not just about the kick of the leg. I know I said we're not moving today, but my body said move, so I'm, I'm thinking maybe yours did too. Good. Bring it down and now take the band behind you. Okay, we're going to hold the band <clears throat> so that our palms are up. So get yourself like a dart, engage by reaching the tail along the belly in. Now you're going to 
reach your arms up to the sky. As you do that, give a gentle pull of the band and feel your back muscles. And then start to lift your chest and notice how the arms on your back can help lift your chest. So now the lower body's anchored, but it's working just as much as the upper body. So nothing is overworking here. And if it is, come back down, try to reset. What does your body need in order to create more balance? You guys know it's breath, pelvic power, back power, usually is where you have to reset. And that pelvic power and abs and breath. Well, the pelvic power and the breath also include the abs. So the abs are part of that. It's like a given, right? Release it down. Give your body a little stretch back. Awesome job. All right, so let's come here. All right, just give yourself that little mermaid. All right, you can do a closed one, you can do an open one, whatever feels comfortable. Float your arms, and we're gonna take our body up and over. And then we go up and over. So the bottom arm is working as much as the top arm, right? They're both stabilized against your back the same amount. And you're just lifting that spine up and over. Belly's in. Pelvis is down. One more each side. And then we switch. Float it up. And we go up and over. So I'm using this bottom arm, not overly so, but that little pressure into the mat is allowing me to work my upper back. And then, of course, the top arm is reaching from my back, so that gets it too. Hopefully it feels good after all the work we did yesterday. Giving, yourself, giving you guys a little breather from that. All right. So now I want you to spin it around to your hands and your knees. All right, and your hands and your knees have equal pressure. Push into the fingertips, press into the knees and feet and reach through that tail. So get everything so it's nice and balanced and we'll just give ourselves a little cat stretch. Again, the spine works evenly and all four points on the mat work equally. One more time. And come to center, tuck your toes under and just walk yourself back towards your toes and onto the balls of your feet. All right, we're gonna stretch the legs long. You're gonna lower those heels. And like a rag doll, just work your way up to a standing position. Hopefully I'm not too chopped off. All right, so what I want you to do here is I want you to get your heels together, okay? And as you get your heels together, find that all the way through the hips. We're going to do little roll downs. And what I like to do also is do this against a wall. So you can, I'm not going to do it here because I can't really see it. I want you to really see the side of me. But you can do this against a wall and just see how much you're leaning back. All right. And just play with it. But you're going to reach your arms up towards the ceiling. We did these yesterday, but I didn't really explain it too much. So now notice how your hips are right over your heels. Reach along through that tail. And now I want you to scoop your belly like you're doing when you do your roll up on the mat. We're diving our body over our thighs towards the floor. So keep going. I'm going to show you the shape you're making. When I say roll up, that's this one. It's the same feeling diving up and over the thighs. You're creating this shape, but we're just doing it this way. All right. So now we want to do our roll up as we think. picture yourself lengthening yourself against your mat. And you're down on the mat, right? I just showed you that position. There it is in a standing position, nice and balanced. Let's try that again. Really try to make everything work as one. As you dive it down, see, notice the pelvic power that works. The feet anchored into the mat evenly. 
your belly, your arms and your back, how everything works to create this movement. One more time, dive it over, hollow out the abs, arms are by your ears. We dive it down, we roll it up, 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 up. Interlace the fingers, take them behind your head. Press your head into your hands, your hands into your head. All right, elbows come forward slightly so you can really feel your back muscles, right? You're stabilizing your back. Lift the heels, lower the heels. Lift and lower for three, two, hold it up on one. Now bend your knees. How's your balance? How you doing? Stretch it up. The whole body should be working to create this. Stretch. Three more. Three, two, and one, and lower down and release the arms down and shake it up. Good, just hold yourself here for a moment and just scan your body, see how you feel. Good. All right, quick little routine. I just wanted you to see this week, right, how balance, we sometimes think um, balance has to do with doing like balance exercises. Like, okay, I'm gonna stand you on one foot and we're gonna do balance stuff, which we did yesterday standing, because that is important. But I want you to really pay attention to your mat work because your mat work is prepping you for your balance in your everyday life. This idea of really thinking about the two sides of your body working equally, as well as these two sides working equally, right? And then kind of the front and back working equally, right? I didn't cue that too much today, but thinking about, I, I did a couple times, but the belly and the back working equally. So when you can get your body really balanced on the mat, that will be taken into your everyday life of walking around. Your body is going to remember how to work in that way. And that's going to prevent falls. It's um, going to get you stronger, faster. You're going to find your other activities really have a lot more endurance to them as well as strength. So hopefully you're having some ahas as you do them. I have been getting them in the videos, so they're fabulous. Thank you. They make me so happy as I read them. Um, I try to respond to them when I can, but keep them coming. Um, a couple of things that I've read are um, upper mid back strength, really getting stronger these last two weeks. Yes, that's awesome. All that work we're doing of that alignment on the mat with the arms long down on your mat. Um, great work. Feeling that that anchored pelvis. How great does that feel when you have it and you're reaching and stuff? Um, it's really great. Or noticing when you're overworking one part of your body and not the other. Like when we did planks the other day and using your 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 power of the pelvis and your arms, but as well as your feet. So all those three points working equally in your planks and side planks. These are such great ahas to have. And what I love about ahas is you never forget them. You will always remember, and um, you might have to remind yourself as you're doing these workouts, but you're going to remember that feeling of power when you did it correctly. Your body's going to remember that, that every time you do this mat work, you're going to adjust for that feeling. So it's really cool. I love this detailed work, and thank you for being here with me. And if you're still here with me and you're still listening, it means you're a detailed worker too, and you're here to help make your body feel better using this lovely, awesome tool of Pilates. You're awesome. I really love being here with you. And I thank you for staying here till the end and listening to these um, words of wisdom. <laughs> I wouldn't call my, my, my chance words of wisdom, but sometimes maybe there's something that clicks with that I say. Um, but I really just want to um, thank you for being here. And you have your next two days as choose your own adventure. So if you're doing that planner, you got choose your adventure. So if you didn't have time this week to do all the exercises, you can do that too. Okay. Um, if not, head into your planner and pick something fun to do. Um, and, and, and let me know what you do. I love hearing that. Okay. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you in a few days. Take care. To get more out of this challenge, you need to get the ultimate Pilates planner. It has everything you need to work from the inside out. So you're going to really work on the mind part of the mind-body connection. You're going to have trackers to keep you consistent and accountable. And my favorite part of this all is you're going to have bonus workouts. So if you don't have time for 20 minutes, you get these quick little 8 to 10 minute workouts to really fit into your day. You're going to get an email in your inbox every day with a journal prompt 
plus the link to the workout of that day and maybe some other little goodies for me to keep you inspired and accountable. So head over to balancetothecore.com slash transform in four.